Hey, what's up, guys? This is Vishu. So, in the last video, we just launched our first EC2 instance. In this video, we are just going to connect to that instance. And as I told you, this is on the cloud, which means that it is on the internet. You can't actually go there, physically turn on the machine, and use it. So, that's why we have to connect to it remotely. And to connect to any server or any computer remotely, you need something called as SSH which is like an SSH client or SSH installed in your machine which if you have Linux you already have it and for Windows you need to use a third party application like Putty. So it's kind of a tedious process the first time but once you save it you can always just click and connect to the machine. So we are going to download Putty first. So click on the tutorial that AWS provides. You can read through it or you can just follow the steps that I'm going to do in this video and it's the same thing so once the page opens come on click on install putty and it will take you to the download page so there are two different types of installations over here so one is the MSI package which is Microsoft installer and Windows installer and the second one is standalone clients which are like the client itself so you don't have to go through any install process you just have to open the file but I'm going to use the installer because it would also give me all the other files that I need in the future so click on start download and once it has completed open it let me close this you can go through the documentation if you want to and let's start so it's on c program files putty click on next install and you need to understand one thing it will ask me and uh so the one thing that i was talking about is this file that we just downloaded from amazon is a pem file which putty doesn't understand so you will need to use this file this private key and generate your own private key which should be in a ppk format that putty understands and to do that we need a standalone client which is putty gen so i installed it in my c program files so if i go in the putty and there's this file called putty gen so open this and it would say that it doesn't has any key and you can either generate a public private key pair or load an existing private key now we already have generated a public private key pair the public key is on our cloud instance and the private key is with us so we can choose this option and remember if you try to generate a new key that won't work because the public public key is already in the instance even if you generate it you need the private key to get in the instance and replace the new public key without that you can't do any, uh, anything so uh, it would show that it is only looking for party private keys click on all files and select the PEM file so it will load the file it would say that successfully imported foreign key uh, let's name this as class fish postgresql and click on save right make sure the type is rsa and the number of bits are 2048 so click on save private key i don't need a key phrase and it would ask me where it should save this so i'm going to save this in class page on the desktop itself and click on save so once you have the file in the ppk format you can use that in the putty client so open putty and this is the small application that would do everything for you let me delete the existing settings so first things first you need a host name to connect to our host name is this if you don't know how we got this it is available on your public dns so select this paste it over here now we need to tell Putty where the private key is. So go in connection, go in SSH, go in auth, 
and give the private key. So browse and I have my PPK file. So I'll select this. There's another setting that you can do auto login username. So I already know the username of this machine is the default one which is EC2 user. And if you don't know how I got this, you can also uh, click on connect and you will see that the username is EC2 user. And I do some set change in the settings and change it to 12 and you don't need to do this i just like it so go to session and now that you have done everything please save this so you don't have to go through every go through this every time you try to connect so i have saved it and i will click on the saved session and i will click open so once you see this screen it means that you have got in your remote virtual machine so it would show you the last login it would show that it was authenticating with the public key this resides in the server and we gave the private key they matched and that's how i got in so if i run a command you can see this cd slash and pwd so yeah so we are in the machine and in the next video we are going to configure a few things install the glass fish server and I'll see you in the next video.